Welcome to Retro Crisis. In this video, I'll show you how to connect your Xbox One Bluetooth controller to your Raspberry Pi, so you'll be able to use it with RetroPie. Firstly, be sure your Xbox One controller is the second revision or higher. I've put on screen a list of the models that are supported and unsupported, so be sure to check your controller. I'll be performing all the configuration on a fresh installation of RetroPie. For this procedure, I'll be using a wired USB keyboard and a wired USB controller. Firstly, boot up your RetroPie installation and wait for it to load. Once you're in, use your wired USB controller to perform all the button mapping. Once you get to the home screen, on your keyboard press F4. This will take you to a terminal window. Type in the following sudo space nano space forward slash etc forward slash modprobe.d forward slash bluetooth.conf and then press enter. This will open up a new blank screen. Type in the following options space bluetooth space disable backslash underscore ertm equals y press ctrl and x to exit it will ask you if you want to save press the y key to confirm the save then press enter to confirm the save and exit the document now type in the following to reboot your device sudo space reboot once you've rebooted go to the retropie option on your home screen Select Bluetooth and wait for a new screen to load. Firstly, click on the Remove Bluetooth Devices option, just to ensure you haven't already paired your Xbox controller by accident. Select OK to confirm. Now, on your Xbox controller, press the big X button to power on the device, and then press the sync button on the controller to initiate the pairing mode. Now quickly, back on your Raspberry Pi, select the register and connect to Bluetooth device option. This will tell the RetroPi to search for the Xbox controller. If you've done this correctly, you'll see Xbox wireless controller appear on your screen. Select it and press OK. Then select the display yes no option. Now back up all the way back to your RetroPie home screen. Press start on your USB controller. Go to configure input. Hold A on your wireless controller and then follow the on-screen prompts to begin the button mapping procedure. Once that's done, you can now begin using your Bluetooth controller wirelessly on your Raspberry Pi. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please do press like, and I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. This has been Retro Crisis. Thank you for watching.